for so long like the longest time but then i was like finishing up my summer videos and then i started back to school videos and i just did not have time to post this but i'm finally doing it and i'm so excited about it so today's video is going to be how to take better instagram pictures so i'm just going to share with you guys my top 10 tips if you guys want to follow me on instagram we're kind of getting close to a million followers a little bit not really i think we're like in the 800 thousands but that's like kind of close so if you guys want to follow me then my username is aspen obar also this video is kind of a collab but it's like a different kind of collab. I have some friends named Brad and Haley and they're like married and like the cutest couple ever. If you guys live in Utah, you probably know Haley and Brad Devine, but they have a production company and they film videos. So they actually filmed this video for me. So definitely check out their links. They'll be in the down bar. And Haley is also in the outro of this video with me. So you guys will get to see her. She's super cute. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the first tip. So the first tip I have for you guys is to get inspired. So what I like to do is just go on Instagram and like browse the popular page and find different people people that I like to follow or I'll go on Pinterest and see all of the adorable pictures on there. So I like to follow different like bloggers or different fashion accounts or like traveling accounts, but I definitely recommend finding some new people to follow. The second tip is to stick with the theme and I kind of hate the term Instagram theme, but if you guys don't know what a theme is, it's basically just when you try to kind of make sure that all of your pictures look really nice together. So they're either like pretty much all white or they all have like the same filter on them. But having a theme kind of just makes your pictures like look really nice together. So I definitely recommend trying to stick to at least some type of theme. Also, my third tip is to make sure that you are taking photos in good lighting. This is so important and totally changes like the quality of your photo, especially if you're taking it with a phone. And something you can do on your iPhone if the lighting is bad is you can like tap where you want to focus and then a little sun pops up and then you can like drag it up and down if you want to like turn up the exposure or turn it down or whatever. But lighting makes a huge difference. Also, I personally don't really like to take photos in direct sunlight. I'm really like squinty and I just think it looks better to take photos in like natural lighting or take them in the shade. Tip number four is kind of obvious, but it's just make sure your picture is in focus. And something I learned recently is if you're taking a picture with an iPhone and you like tap where you want to focus, but then you hold it, it'll like lock the focus, which is good. So like if your subject or whatever is moving, then it will still stay focused on them. Tip number five is the rule of thirds. If you guys go on your phone and you go to the settings and then you just scroll down to where it says photos and camera, you can actually turn on the grid. So this is like a perfect guide for the rule of thirds. So basically the rule of thirds is just that you don't wanna like randomly place your subject in your photo. You either want it like in the center or on the side, like in the corner. So that kind of just makes the photo look more appealing and the composition just kind of looks better. Tip number six is to shoot straight. This is really important if you're taking a picture of like the ocean or something like on the beach. You wanna make sure the horizon is like in a straight line in your photo. You don't want your phone to be like slightly tilted or something, but you can fix it in editing if you mess up. If you go on VS SEO, there's like a little setting that lets you like tilt the picture a little bit. So if you mess up, try that. So that also makes your photos look more appealing. Tip number seven is to take more than one photo. Anytime I'm taking an Instagram photo, if you look at my phone after, I will have like at least 50 pictures of like the exact same thing. They're like slightly different, like slightly different angles, but it's always really good to like switch up your angles and make sure that you have like multiple photos to choose from. It's always nice to have options. So I kind of like to edit at least like two or three different photos, see which one I like best and then decide which one to post. Number eight, I I think is really important and it's to practice posing and like get comfortable in front of the camera. This is something I'm still doing. Half the time I'll hand park the camera and be like, hey, take a picture of me. And then he'll hold it up and I'll be like, wait, no, I don't know what to do. So if you actually just search on Pinterest, there's a ton of different like guides that are like a guide to posing. So they'll just tell you simple tips. Like if you stand at a little bit of an angle, it makes your body look better. Or if you're gonna like bend one of your legs, you should bend the one that's farthest away from the camera. Also don't like smash your arms to your side because then it makes them look like flat and weird. Like if you hold them out a little bit, they look better. Tip number nine is to think about the crop and I personally like to post my photos in a square when they're on Instagram. So a lot of the time I will have it on like the normal setting for the camera mode and I'll be taking a picture and then I'll kind of just like swipe it over to the square one just to make sure everything fits and then like swipe it back and actually take the picture. So that's just something that I always make sure to keep in mind when I'm taking a photo. Tip number 10 is to post often. I try to post like two or three times a day when I can if I'm on a trip or something but if you're posting a lot then people are going to be liking your stuff more and then people are going to be finding you more. So I would definitely recommend that you guys post as often as you can. So that is a video on how to take better Instagram pictures. And as you guys can see, I have a little special guest here now. This is Haley. Hi guys. That helped me film <laughs> this video along with her husband, Brad. 
Hello. Get in. It's British. <laughs> but we also filmed a video on Haley's channel, so we yes, did. Yes, we did a hot air balloon DIY, and Aspen Super cool. actually floats in it. Yeah. So you're gonna want to see it. It's a real hot air balloon. <laughs> yes. So definitely make sure that you guys check that out. I'll have it linked on her face and also in the down bar. And make sure you guys subscribe to her channel. She just made it, so she's kind of new to YouTube, but they're like Very professional new. videographers. <laughs> so her stuff is really good. I'm gonna have all her <laughs> links down below. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye.